very chill. Oh, it smells really good. Hey guys, and welcome to the very last video in the Lebanon series. Now this one is a tribute to Lebanese hospitality, which is something that Lebanon is actually super famous for around the world. And it's basically a, a couple scenes that you guys didn't get to see from some of our adventures where we got invited into people's homes and they were generous enough to share a meal with us or a glass of ara. And in sharing these things, we formed closer bonds with them and they're just really special, vulnerable moments that I thought would be nice to end off the series with. Hope you guys enjoy. I think I'm child lock. I guess because of the children. I'm... <laughs> so Hussein invited us out for lunch. So we're coming to his family home for a traditional Lebanese lunch. <laughs> Slash dinner. It's a little bit later. It's like 3.30. It's better than the sandwiches. Like oh yeah, yeah, way better. And it's so tired of Yeah, our water. other... Our Shawarma, other... Shawarma. Our oh, other option was a... Uh, uh, Sviha? No, we no we've it's never very, had Sviha. Very, very famous. Huh. Okay. Very famous. And, uh, perhaps tonight? Maybe tonight, yeah. Tonight, yeah tonight. I think... There yeah. is a very famous restaurant for... Also for my cousin. It's called the Rakis restaurant. Rakis? Yeah, it's very famous uh, in all the Lebanon. Cool. Yeah. Here in Baalbek? Yeah. Is it I like a chain you. or is it just one it's restaurant? A chain. Hey, okay. Zahli and okay. Mm, wow. Cool. Awesome. It is lovely. It's probably a cool view. Yeah, I was gonna say. Probably a nice view from over here. Oh yeah. Look at that. The mountains the mm hmm beautiful you really the camera is does a good job but it doesn't do like all the justice That's really a nice place. house how much is it to like get an apartment like that no yeah it's not expensive before the crisis it was 150 150 150 dollars for, okay, for an apartment like this? Uh, it's now for 30 to 40. 30 to 40,000? Yeah. Oh my god. Just in the uh, uh, nine months. Oh, it went from, it, it totally crashed. Back. Wow. Sure. Uh, take time. It will. Now's the time to buy an apartment in Lebanon. The best time to buy in Lebanon. Yeah, the best time. Mm -hmm. It's very cheap now. Can we get one below you? <laughs> you know, yeah, this one. Um, this is. <laughs> yeah, we can be on the first floor. <laughs> 30, 40, That's cool. Do you not have a key? I don't have the key. Oh. Yeah, I have the voice call. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'll another way. Let's let me you. Okay, we'll stay. Yeah. Like, but no. north, yeah. It's cold there? It's cold. Very cold. So we're just hanging out uh, with Hussein in his house, and it's really nice. Like, it's a beautiful house. And uh, we're waiting for his wife, Sabah, to uh, bring something, I'm sure. She's going to bring, like, food or drinks or... God knows. <laughs> I'm excited, though. Yeah. What are the topics of conversation? Uh, we've been talking about, like, um, where I'm from and uh, like my parents and what they do and how we would love to bring them to Lebanon because we think they'd really like it. Wow. So we've got uh, fries, rice with um, pasta in it. Yeah, I like think. with macaroni. Yeah. Yes. Something like that. Some luchia. chicken. Luchia with the chicken. Luchia. luchia with chicken. And the spaghetti was kuzba. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Ooh. Dude, you know this is your house, right? Like, it's your house. <laughs> 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 okay. Yeah, 
Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> you can wave hello. <laughs> this is Seba. Yes, Seba. She's uh, Jamila. Oh, yeah, look at her. Let's sit down and have some food. Look at the balcony. But like, yeah, actually, let me just show you the... Look how cute this is. Wow. With such a view. Do you want water or seven up? Water. water. My, my, please. How do you say please? As a patrid. As a patrid. As a patrid. As a patrid. Yes. My, as a patrid. <laughs> oh, you can say it as Amel mouth. Amel mouth. Amel mouth. I'm wondering that you did to not cook eat it. it anyway. In India? In Egypt. Oh, in Egypt. In Egypt. No, no. not like this. With uh, Fadia. But you have to try the, what I told you about the Egyptian, <laughs> uh, about the Egyptian, uh, uh, sorry, about the Lebanese barbecue. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. If you want. Yeah. The, the if you want. Lebanese barbecue and what? The uh, food is called Sfiha. Sfiha, yeah, 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 I want it. So it's barbecue and like yes. a... Thank you. Specifically barbecue. Yes, yeah. Whatever you go in Lebanon. Mm -mm. You missed it. Whatever you go you in should. Lebanon. I know we have to while we're still here. In any place, for example, in a restaurant. You guys, thank you, man. That's such a great. Uh, you are welcome. It's your home. Oh my God, it's such a great dinner. Uh, wonderful, wonderful uh, uh, civilization intersection. Mixing of cultures. So we Thanks hope that it will, that you will repeat coming uh, yes. again. Yes. I hope so. Yes. Yeah. We'll do it. Yeah. We can do it anytime. <laughs> Uh, like a charafna in the most. It's uh, <laughs> <laughs> getting well. <Charafna. laughs> All right, you guys. Goodbye. So we've got everything packed, but we have a couple of last adventures before we close the chapter on Dolma. The first one is uh, Michelle, the host of the place that you've seen throughout this video. He is, uh, in, he has invited us to try some of his homemade arak. Now, as you can see, it's obviously not evening time when people normally drink. But, as he informed us yesterday, any time of the day is a good time of the day for arak. So it is, what time is it? I think it's like almost noon, like 11.45 a.m. maybe. It's out of time. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, good. We're talking about your adventure yesterday. Oh yeah, it was quite the adventure. It was fun though. We um, did he tell you that we picnicked on top of one of the um, no, the rocks? You did that? Wow. Yeah. So here we are in the main part of the house. This is the salon, the you know hangout area basically, and um, it's all authentic, restored like Turkish, like Ottoman, and uh, traditional Lebanese not even everything, decorations. Not even everything is restored. You can still see the age, see the age which is great. It's I beautiful. ordered some, some things yesterday for us, some tabbouleh. Oh, nice. Uh, but uh, then I thought that uh, Hell yeah. tired or I mean, some rest. Oh, it's great. It's like uh, very chill. Oh, it smells really good. Mm -hmm. It's like kind of sweet. Anise seeds in it. Okay, yeah, anise seeds. <laughs> so he brought out the ara in this like jug. It's funny because in the U.S., you know, like um, moonshine, which is kind of an equivalent of some sort, like a really high percentage alcohol, is kind of looked down upon. But here, it's like um, it's like a delicacy. You know, it's like. A, tradition like it's renowned like it's renowned you know i guess the <clears throat> i guess the lebanese have not gone through um 
prohibition. A prohibition. Yeah. <laughs> ah, in uh, yeah. the U.S. is like moonshine. You know, because it's really high, a high percentage like homemade, home uh -huh. okay. brewed liquor. Uh -huh. It doesn't taste as good. I mean, yeah, it's terrible. <laughs> but, uh, That's the measurements of my godfather. He's really good in, in measuring that out. Mm -hmm. so, uh, like to make it? Yeah. So he the, passed the, down the, the recipe? Dish. Approximately you know, about 20% of Arak. But usually you mix it in a special uh, jar for that. Mm. But I'm doing it uh, differently. And you should keep some space for the ice. Voila. Voila. Now we put the rocks. <laughs> and the ice. <laughs> I'll take this one. It's my favorite. Okay. <laughs> to your health. Kesak. 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 for me. Kesak. Cheers. Sakte. Cheers. Oh, it's so smooth. Yeah. And flavorful too. Like it's not just uh it's not just bitter like mm -hmm. alcoholy. It's like uh full body, you know. Yeah, it depends on the grape and it's uh yeah, you can feel the sweetness of uh, uh, and the anisees for sure. Absolutely. For me it's like a sleeping pill. So uh, when I'm in Somniac or something I can have two glasses, <laughs> two shots of Iraq and <laughs> too bad. <laughs> Natural uh like melatonin. Like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Well, guys, that's it. The Lebanon series has officially ended. It's sad. You know, Lebanon wasn't a country that I had even planned on visiting. Um, actually, I think we were going to go to Portugal. Yeah. But then the pandemic hit, and uh, Lebanon was one of the only countries we could go to. And I, I never imagined that Lebanon was a country that I would feel so deeply connected to and that... I would grow to love so much, but um, but here we are. <laughs> and I just wanted to thank all of you, everyone who supported me and us and the channel throughout this journey. And a special thank you to all of you who've supported us on Patreon. Those of you who've bought me a couple a cup of coffee. Um, and those of you who've uh, gotten my merch, like this mug. And the t-shirt that Valentine's wearing. Yeah. I'm actually going to wear it at the party today. <laughs> you are? Yeah, we'll see if anybody comments on it. And, uh, like, you guys have really, through your support, whatever that support may have been, my dreams of, you know, becoming a vlogger and, and making this channel into something that I could share with a lot of people have become a reality and I'm super excited to keep growing and um, to show you guys other really awesome places around the world in, in a, maybe a different perspective than other people might show them. And, uh, and even some places like the next place that we're going to, Eastern Bolivia, that uh, I don't think really anybody, any English speaking person has really covered in depth. So you guys are about to see a part of the world that uh, very few people outside of that part of the world have seen. Except Bald. He's not seen Eastern <laughs> Bolivia. <laughs> that's right. He's, he's, seen he's been to Western Bolivia, but he's never uh, been yeah. to Eastern Bolivia. Right. It's, yeah. a very, it's a very different part of Bolivia. Like all the vlogs you guys have seen on YouTube about Bolivia, they're usually about Western Bolivia. 
And so this is gonna be a completely different just scenery than and, and cast of characters than you would have than you would imagine when you think about Bolivia. If you if anything comes to mind when you think about Bolivia. Yeah. Yeah, I remember when you started this channel, we were, were running around the world trying to figure out and yeah, you're like I got my first five subscribers and and uh, and you're so believing and you had such a big vision and I really like that you kind of cover things in such an objective and fair and kind of beautiful manner. So I'm, it's a huge pleasure to be a part of this and um, thank you guys. Thank you for everyone who said, Valentine, where's Valentine? And <laughs> <laughs> I'm always like, oh wow, people want me on there. <laughs> Yeah, they love they love you. <laughs> they miss you when you're gone, babe. Yeah, well, it's so much fun to be a part of it, and um, so I'm glad to be here and glad to be a part of it. And it's not ending. It's not ending. It's not ending. Ending. Yeah, the Lebanese series is ending, and so we're going on to new adventures, better heights, and longer videos, and just they're all gonna flow better. It's like you guys are. In for a really nice treat for people that like to kind of sit back and just watch the thing. I've seen some of these videos, I was a part of them, they're amazing. Yeah. So stay tuned. If you're not ready to be done with the Lebanon series yet, I do have more full length videos on Patreon for those of you who support me on there. And I've also got uh, merch, like I mentioned before, this mug and this t shirt and sweatshirt designs in the full range of sizes and colors. Over here, here, <laughs> and uh, yeah. Other than that, guys, I will see you in Bolivia. Woo! Is that good? Yeah, it's great. What a great uh, intro outro. This was so. This was too much fun, babe. I think.